Welcome everyone! Side store is an upgraded version of Alt store. You do need to use a computer to sideload side store once, but after that, when the side store app is on your device, you can install new applications, no computer required. You can refresh your current applications, no computer required. And if you use emulators or apps which require JIT, you can use JIT without touching the computer. You will need either a Windows or Mac to set up the side store. The Windows or Mac process is completely different, so I will have timestamps. I'm going to start off with the Mac method, then I'll move to the Windows method. So skip to the timestamp for your operating system. This may take a couple of minutes to set up, but once it's set up, it is definitely worth it. So I'm going to move to my computer, Mac first, then Windows, and let's get the side store. On the Mac, we're going to head over to sidestore.io. And from here, we're going to click on Get Started. And you're going to see the side server. And we're just going to click on the macOS side server right here. Now, the side server will install. You're going to click on the .dmg. And then you're going to drag and drop side server to the applications mm. folder. You will then double click on the applications folder and we're going to right click on side server. We're going to click on open and you're going to see this message. Click on open. From here, we're going to highlight install side store and we're going to select our device. You will, of course, need to plug in the device to the computer. It will now ask for your Apple ID and password. If you don't trust side store, I believe the code is open source, but what you can do is you can always create a second burner Apple ID. Uh, for my videos, I do use a burner Apple ID, which you can message if you want to. And now the side store is going to install. I can see it on my uh, iPhone 14 Plus. Before we delete side store from the computer, we do need to do some stuff on the phone itself, but I will tell you when you can delete the side server app, but let's continue on the phone itself. On the Windows computer, we're going to head over to the Side Store website and we're going to click on the Get Started button. As there is no side server for Windows, we need to use Alt Store to sideload Side Store. So we're going to click on where it says Download IPA. Download the regular IPA because the beta IPA doesn't work. Believe me, I would know. So just download the regular IPA, don't download the beta. You cannot sideload a side stool with sideloadly before you uh, do that. We now need to set up alt stool on the Windows computer. So we're going to click on the FAQ and we're going to click on getting started Windows. And you're going to download this version of iTunes. So if you already have iTunes, just download this one anyway. And once this is finished, set it up to your computer. And we will also need to download iCloud. So we're going to click on this iCloud download. And we are going to set up both iTunes and iCloud. Once you have done this, you must restart the computer so that Alt Server can read the files from iTunes and iCloud. We then need to go back to the home page of Alt Store. Uh, we need to click on the Windows download for Alt Server. We will now see the Alt Installer.zip. And we're going to open the .zip. We're going to click on Extract All. And we're just going to extract this. If you have something like WinRAR, the extract process will be slightly different. And so it doesn't matter which one you click on, but we're just going to click on the setup here and we see the alt server setup wizard and so we're going to click on it next 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 and now alt server should install to your windows computer once the installation is complete we're going to click on close and now we're going to search for the alt server and we're just going to open this one up before we proceed with alt server you can head back to the side store website and we need to download the jitterbug pair for windows and once this is downloaded we're going to open the zip 
and then we're going to extract the zip just like we did with alt server we now need to open a cmd so you're going to open up the command prompt like this so we need to run two commands the first one is cd space and then you're going to drag and drop the folder and then click on enter and before you proceed you want to connect your device to the computer and once you've done that you're going to drag and drop the jitterbug pair file and then click on enter and now it says please accept the trust dialog on the device so just go to the home screen tap on trust and then enter in your passcode and drag and drop one more time the same file and now you can see we have success and we also have this file right here we need to transfer this file to our phone the way I personally use is with the Google Drive but if you have another method you can use it so I'm going to drag and drop the mobile device pairing file into my Google Drive right here if you have a Google account you also have a Google Drive account already set up and you can see the upload is complete because this file is unique to each device I can't just share it okay and then we need to move to the phone temporarily on the phone you will need to have the Google Drive app which is free from the App Store and in the Google Drive app you should see your dot mobile device pairing file so you're going to tap on the triple dots here and then you're going to see where it says open in just tap on open in don't use send a copy open in is the one you want and we just want to find where it says save to files so we're going to select this and we're just going to go back until we are in the downloads and then we're going to tap on save one more time and now the dot mobile device pairing file is on our device and we will need this later we're going to click on the arrow and we just want to find where that alt server icon is and before we click on the icon we need to hold down the shift key so we're holding down the shift key we're going to left click the alt server and now we have this hidden sideload IPA option so now we need to connect our device to the computer once the device is connected you may need to trust the connection so go to the home screen of your device and then follow the on-screen instructions so the device is still not recognized which means I'm going to repeat the earlier step holding down shift left click alt server and under sideload IPA we now see our device so from here we're going to find where the side store IPA is located and we're going to open this one up and now we need to enter in our Apple ID and password side store is open source so you can see the code but if you don't trust the side store you can just use a burner Apple ID and I personally use a burner but mainly because I don't want to show my personal Apple ID in the video so we just tap on install and just tap on continue for any pop-ups and so the side store should now install onto our device and then once it's done let's move back to the phone itself you will need to keep alt server on your computer temporarily as we do have to do some extra stuff on the device but in the video it will be very clear when you can remove the alt server on the device itself when trying to open up the side store we're going to get the untrusted developer message so to trust the developer I want you to open up the settings and then we're going to find general and then we're going to find VPN and device management you should see your Apple ID in the developer app select it and then trust the developer on your phone if we are running iOS 16 or newer we're going to get this other error which says developer mode required 
if you have iOS 15 or older, just skip 20 seconds. But if we need to fix the developer mode required, we're going to head over to the homepage of settings. And then we're going to find privacy and security. And then we're going to find the developer mode. And we're going to tap on the toggle to turn the developer mode on. Then we're going to restart the phone. After the restart, you're going to get this turn on developer mode message. So we're going to tap on turn on and we're going to enter in our passcode. And now we can open up the SideStore app. If you set up SideStore using your Windows computer, we need to select the pairing file, which we installed onto our phone earlier. So let's tap on OK. And you should see it in Recents. But if you don't, just tap on Browse and then just find the file and select it. Once the file is selected, we're going to open the settings and we need to sign in with our Apple ID. But before you do this, make sure you are connected to your computer. This is the last time you need to do so. And on the computer, you do need to have either the side server or alt server running. And so we're just going to sign in with our Apple ID and password now. And once we see here how it works, we can tap on got it. And you can unplug your device from the computer. You can remove the side server, remove the alt server if you want to as well. Head over back to the side store website on the device itself and tap on get started. And so we see here. WireGuard VPN. We're going to tap on the WireGuard VPN. We're going to tap on open and you will need to download this app right here. This is free from the App Store. And we also need to download the WireGuard config file as well. So you're going to download this. Once you've done that, we're going to open up the WireGuard app. We're going to tap on the plus. And we're going to tap on create from file or archive. And you just want to find the side store file. It should be in the downloads or in the recents. And now WireGuard wants access to VPN configurations. We're going to tap on allow. We're going to enter in our passcode. And we're just going to turn on the side store right here. You only need the side store VPN running when you need to add new applications, refresh applications, or you need, uh, need to enable JIT. Before we sideload anything, it's very important that you go into open the settings and then we go to advanced settings and you're going to see the Anaset server. Because we are re signing our apps, no computer we have to use this Anaset server. If the server is not near where you actually live, so let's say I'm from the UK and I use an Anaset server from the USA, your Apple ID will be locked out, okay? That's not a big issue because to unlock the Apple ID, it takes 10 seconds. You just go to iforgot.apple.com, you re-sign in with your Apple ID, and you'll be unlocked, okay? No one is hacking your accounts. The Apple ID sign-in is done on the device. If you get locked out, you have to unlock your Apple ID and then just go through one by one, each server until one works. If your Apple ID being locked is something you just don't wanna deal with, again, side store is open source, they're not stealing your details, but you can always create a burner Apple ID Reside load side store. I personally use a burner Apple ID. It will only take five to ten minutes to set up maximum. So if you just want to create a burner, you just want to be safe, that's okay. I don't blame you. And then once you have done that, let's side load our IPA by tapping on the plus. And you do need to provide your own IPA files. So me personally, I want to use the Dolphin iOS here. And so we'll just give this a couple of seconds to complete. 
So any moment now, we should see the side load completes. So there we go, our IPA of choice has side loaded and no computer was required, which is it's, it's beautiful, it really is. Uh, there is a free app limit, but because you don't have a computer, you can deactivate and reactivate apps to bypass that limit quite easily. If you need to use JIT, which you will need to use for emulators, you can just long press on the app and then tap on enable JIT. And you don't need a computer to do that, which is magical. When you siloaded an app, you're going to notice this expires in. So every seven days, it says the apps will expire. And that means that your apps will break. But with Side Store, for some reason, after 24 hours, the apps will break. There's a chance it's not guaranteed. So what I recommend is once you have siloaded your app, just tap on refresh all again. And once a day, go back into the Side Store app and just tap on the refresh all. Because if you don't do this, the Side Store may just break on you. And if it breaks, you have to use that computer to refresh your apps. What you can do is you could create a calendar event. And in the calendar event, you can, you know, have it ping you. So if we just go into the calendar, you long press and you select repeat every day and you want to have an alert set as well you know 30 minutes before and just set the title refresh apps something like that and so once every day 30 minutes before your time slot you will be pinged to refresh your apps so they do not break if the apps break you have to reside load side store with the computer and of course, that is not ideal, but it's not the end of the world either. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please follow me on Twitch. I know that's weird, but twitch.tv forward slash Saundry. Play a lot of Super Mario 64 and uh, maybe live right now. So why not check me out? Follow me if I'm not live so you get that notification. Bye bye.